Welcome to a new video guys! You've probably seen this car montage already. It was posted a week ago, so I'm hoping you guys seen it. The first montage of my new car, the Nissan 350Z. But this is gonna be my first own personal reaction of the video. I, of course, I was there when we recorded it. I was driving the car, but I wasn't anything involved in the editing. It's gonna be super interesting and super fun to actually get to watch the video together with you guys here and then we can talk a little bit more about what happened with the car uh, like so far and experiences I've had with it but let's jump into the video and let's get started okay okay walking looking cool I'm locking the car I love this music Japsy jacket is on Squirrel, you can kind of see squirrel in the corner don't mind the damage on the car. <laughs> we found some cool places to film for sure. It was super fun to like spend the whole day working on this. My carbon fiber wing. Driving. Like all these shots, if we if we don't think about the leaves on the front, these shots look epic. First time trying to, yeah, this was, bro, no, I already know what this is gonna be. So I just did this because every time you restart the car, traction controls gets on again, and I just realized this. I re like, I acted like this. I was like, "Oh my god, I'm dumb," and all the people standing, like watching filming, they thought I broke the car because I went out and they was like, "Is it broken? Did you break the car?" And I was like, "No, traction control is on," and that's why I can't really get the car to to let go. <laughs> I mean, we we got some more reaction to it when we actually turned off traction control. I'm still super bad at it. Tires are almost gone, but. It's a work in progress. I mean, we got we got some things happening. At least one tire. That tire is basically gone at this point. <laughs> oh, the smoke. I want to see this. I, like, I didn't really get a view on how this looked, but this looked epic. This looks epic. Look at this. Woo! This looks so cool. Pretty close to scraping the front. <laughs> Squirtle, the mascot of the car, my base in the back, the pretty beat up rims, wasn't me, wasn't me, I promise, <laughs> it was like that when I bought it. The cardboard that I didn't see when we drove and everybody was like, how did you miss that? Eric asked me like multiple times, like, how did you miss the cardboard? I was like, it was on the wrong side of the car and kind of flew off to the side. And I was focusing on laying in the right place on the road and close enough to the film car. So I don't know. But overall, I love this video. It's super dope. Eric and Linus is on top of it. As always, I'm always in love with all these videos. So I've had the car for like a month now and it, it's been an interesting month. A lot of fun moments, a couple of not so fun moments I would say. I mean we could start off from the beginning. I bought the car while buying it, like the previous owner was like, yeah I have basically a whole other engine for the car, but in pieces, do you want that as well? Like you don't have to pay anything for it, you can just bring it with you. So we ended up dropping that off at a friend's place. So I have like a full extra engine, but in five, six large buckets. So in case maybe spare parts, or if we sometimes feel like let's build an engine, we can do that, but that will be interesting. Day after I bought it, I went on like a three hour drive to a racetrack, the same track as we were with Jepstays, 
to watch some drifting. In the end of that day, it started like pouring down rain. So we ran to the car, we were like, let's hide in the car from the rain. We sit down in the car and we see like both side windows. There's like pouring water into the car. On the inside, I was like, Mo. God, this is not what I want. I had no idea that that was a thing. The water is not supposed to be in the car. So I've been like back and forth trying different things. I think I figured out the issue with it. It seems to be the ceiling around the front window. So I need to see if I can get a new one of those ceilings. So I can switch it out at the same time as I'm switching the whole front window since it's a little bit cracked. So I'm gonna do that soon. Then also when driving home from that event, the engine light went on. I kind of panicked because it's my first own car. I don't really know a lot about it. Luckily, Jennifer was with me. She shaked with some friends and we were like, yeah, it's not too big of an issue. What it seems like we don't have to stop the car immediately. We can keep driving since it was like another two and a half hour drive home. We stopped at another friend's place to read the error codes and so on and so on. And it wasn't anything we could really like figure out was a real issue. We turn off the light and just didn't turn on for a good while. Turn back on, we fix some things with the battery, disappeared again, and now it's back again. But we think we know it's something with like the thermostat or something with that. I'm gonna try to like figure that out in the near future as well. I don't think that's the biggest issue. That that should be pretty easy just get fixed and also like a couple of days after i bought it i was gonna like do something at my parents place with it and i like pull down the driver's side window and just get stuck there like it doesn't move it doesn't get up again i was like this is not good the, the window is all the way down and it doesn't move so me and my dad end up like Put, pulling apart the whole side door to get into the engine and everything. We figure out that the issue was that there's like a little part in the engine that makes the engine like work when you're moving the button. It's pretty worn out and so on, but we managed to like use some small tools, figure it out a little bit and managed to fix it. And ever since then the window still works. So not an issue anymore. There, there's a lot of like, you know, these tiny issues and so on, but we, we usually try to figure it out. I mean, it's fun to have something to work on. I knew from the start that this wouldn't be like a perfect car it would be something to work on i don't know too much about it but you can figure out you can find a lot of info about it online you can find a lot of tutorials on youtube there's a lot of great groups with great people that help you out like if you have any questions they usually answer pretty quickly and get you some help so you can like get some hints on the way at least or you just get the straight up answer depending on what the issue is so i'm super happy with how it's going so far as well though like with trying to fix things and with the help i can get the only thing else that i like i really want to work on right now is like the outside the color because some of it is like worn off and so on and we were gonna fix it like a couple of weeks ago but then we realized that it it was more sunny outside than we expected and the paint that you're gonna paint on with didn't want to have like over 25 degrees or something and of course it was maybe like 20 25 degrees outside but the car in the sun like the outside of the car was probably closer to like 50 so we were like yeah we can't do this so we're still trying to wait for a day where we have like time to spend on it and also like the weather is in a good condition for us to work on it. And then also like I love the front of the car. You guys have seen it. You can see it right here. Like it looks beautiful. It's a basically copy from the Nissan GTR R35 and I love how it looks. It makes the car stick out. A lot of people that look or talk about the car, they look at the front. They're like commenting on the front of the car. It's beautiful, but it's extremely low. Speed bumps is a hassle. I've scraped it a couple of times and also when me and Eric lifted up the car last week we could like look under it and I can tell you it scraped a lot not from me just but like from previous owners and you can see how the previous owners done a lot to try to fix it up keep it together so we might have sometimes like pull that off the car and you'll see if we can like fix it up a little bit better and get the best out of it I would say. Also I'm actually in the making of switching my steering wheel because it's pretty torn and I want a new one. I want more of like a racing steering wheel. I haven't ordered the steering wheel yet but I've ordered the hub that you need to like connect the new steering wheel and I also maybe threw in a quick release with that so you can like detach the steering wheel while sitting still just because it's cool it's not necessary but it's cool so I was like I want that so I'm waiting for that to come from the US and then when we have that in the car we're gonna like try to measure to see like what size of steering wheel I can have because I I think I know what steering wheel I'm gonna get it's just depending on which size I'm gonna get but I need the rest before that so that's the upcoming plan for the car other than that I don't think there's gonna be too much done before the the winter and when the car is gonna rest more than I need new tires because the tires are old and yeah after what you saw in that video at least left rear tire it's not looking too well <laughs> but it was worth it it looks good in the video you know
But so, yeah, I'm overall super happy with the car. I'm super appreciative as well of all my friends around that helps me out a lot and just makes it more fun to work on it together. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Tell me down below what do you think about the montage we did. We're gonna make another one when the car is a little bit more fixed up and we got some better looking car. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope I see you guys on the Twitch streams, on the YouTube channel and on other socials. And have a good time guys. Bye!